Now, this stardust, it, it goes on and on and on. The stories that you're going to hear about stardust. The love song intended for stardust had originally been written for 50 million Frenchmen. It was discarded from that show, but he never throws anything away, this man. <laughs> but it fit perfectly into the love scene in the script of Stardust. Of course it did. He made it fit. <laughs> but when the show remained unproduced, the song remained unsung for over 30 years. I wonder if we're going to hear why. <laughs> anyway, until it was <laughs> unearthed by Ben Bagley, not a friend of mine, for his first Cole Porter, <laughs> Porter revisited album. Tonight it is sung by one of last year's Tony Award nominees for The Mystery of Edwin Drood, making his off-Broadway debut in the New York Shakespeare Festival's production of La Boheme with Linda Ronstadt. He went on to appear on Broadway in Sunday in the Park with George. His TV appearances include St. Elsewhere, <laughs> New Heart, and Columbo. He can also be heard on the Follies in Concert album. If you're wondering who I'm to introduce, I am going to tell you right now. It's Howard McGillan singing I Worship You. Let's give him a hand. Men used to worship Aphrodite When the Phoenicians threw a party The driest toast drank a toast to Astarte The big Egyptian sacrifices Were made to please the goddess Isis And one of my most ancient vices Is my worship of you I don't love you, dear, I swear it's true. I don't love you, dear, I worship you. Must I modify my point of view? Why should I be odd if I worship you? On that sacred day, when you become mine, somewhere far away, I'll build you a shrine. There I'll put you, dear, and when I do, I'll get on my knees and worship you.